Tomorrow starts a new chapter for us. Everything is officially loaded up. It's our last day. Um, it's crazy. Alright guys, we are starting the week off at the park. The weather has been extremely nice this week. I think it's probably mid 70s right now, um, which is so nice. We actually got some water ice, got some ice cream, mom got chocolate ice cream, shared it with Haley. Haley loves this slide. She goes down it a thousand times. Yay, 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 yay! So you want to show them the bracelet Gigi got you? Gigi and Pop were on a cruise and brought back this pretty so bracelet. Pretty. So pretty. Haley loves it. Yay, you're so pretty. Do you yeah. want to talk about your shoe selection today? I forgot. I was all ready to leave the house and I put on my slippers in the house. And then I got here and I was like, oh, I forgot to put on my actual <laughs> shoes. It's fine. At least they kind of match. Like it's totally. the right color. So it's fine. Comfort over style. This can't be both. <laughs> it is both. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Take some ice cream breaks. Keep up your energy. You want a bite? Oh. <laughs> She's gonna love that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. My mom took Haley here a couple weeks ago, and she said that Haley wanted to do this slide over and over again. How many times do you think? Like 30 minutes we did the slide. <laughs> mom was, came home. I gotta work out. She's like, I was sweating, and she would not want to stop going down the slide. But around here, Haley gets anything she wants, right? That's right. Gigi says. We're getting ready to leave the park. I'm loading up, but I'm watching mom, Katie, and the baby play at the park, and I'm not gonna lie, it is a really sad week in a way. I feel like I've been putting this day off in my mind for a while. Um, and now it's here and it's hitting me something. I've never experienced um, obviously I never moved away and so um, Yeah, we're trying to make the most of it and enjoy it, but it is hard um, so we're gonna do what we can do spend time with as many people as we can and um, Try not to get too sad because we know there's gonna be lots of visits and things like that But it is definitely sad. All right guys. It finally feels like we're getting stuff done Things are moving, boxes are moving, furniture is moving. So for a while we've been packing and sorting through stuff, but nothing's really been happening. So we got some boxes over here. Somebody actually just came and picked up our bedroom furniture, which was a big deal. What are you saying, sweetie? What are you saying? Mm -hmm. My brother is actually on his way here and he's gonna be taking our couch and using it at his house and we have a different couch getting shipped to Tennessee. So, lots of stuff happening today and after today, our house is gonna start to feel like really empty. <gasps> Haley James. Oh my goodness, I love her. I love her so much. You want her out? Oh, good job. <sighs> Baby. <laughs> So baby. sweet. You want me to Can hold her? Okay. Feed her, her you guys, feed her her bottle? Guys, she feeds this baby a bottle. It is the <gasps> cutest thing ever. Let mommy find your bottle. <laughs> Uncle Mike's here. <gasps> Show Uncle Mike your baby. <gasps> Look at her, dude. She feeds the baby. You're so smart. That is insane. You're such a big girl. Go give Uncle Mike a hug. Oh. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> I love you. This morning we were going through all of our decorations and putting them in a box and we actually had some new candles literally just get shipped to our house which reminded me I did a change of address and I'm hoping that, that everything <laughs> starts working. The lady was like, it may take a month or two. And I was like, well, it's a good thing we have a visit next month. We can just bring whatever didn't make it to yeah. us. 
in Tennessee. But we lit a candle this morning. These are our favorite candles. This is love letters because I'm trying to get some romanticism in the air. <laughs> Hot. It's one of my favorites. I've had it before. It's the love letters. It's like sandalwood, lemon, rose petals. It's just a nice, like, subtle smell that's like, it smells so good. It makes our whole house smell amazing. Didn't even realize this is literally titled New Home, but I'm not gonna light this one until I get to Tennessee because it's like kind of ironic. Like, we're moving to a new home and I have a candle, so I'm just gonna like break it in there. Also, they are really aesthetic. Um, I love that they smell good, of course, but they gotta look good too, and these definitely do that. Look at the packaging. The candle itself is also super simplistic, so they go anywhere and match everywhere. We got these candles from Homesick. They have tons of different scents, tons of different options. They also have like air fresheners, car fresheners, all stuff like that, so there's a huge variety. This is the best scent I've tried so far, guys. Love letters. Try this one if you're gonna try any of them because it smells so good. They were kind enough to give us a code. It is Travis15. That'll get you money off at checkout. I was telling Katie earlier, this is an easy way to get brownie points as a husband. Get your wife a candle. Or if you got a friend, a uh, housewarming gift, great option. Or you can just buy one for yourself. So I will leave the link in the description as well as a QR code on the screen right here. And you guys can go check them out. Guys, it is 1220. I'm standing at the Philadelphia Airport right now warden actually just landed he offered to come in and wrap some things up with the house for us and then also help us move from Jersey to Tennessee so Katie and I were like sure if you're offering we'll take the help so uh, he had a late flight here they actually flew him from Tennessee to Florida back up to Jersey because they had no direct flights so that was super kind of him we're gonna head home get some rest and then tomorrow try to get some work done and then the following day load the truck so it's gonna be good Oh, Remy's excited to see you too. Thank you for coming. Seriously, Rem. Well, Ooh, since it's late, we're just going to sleep tonight so and start tomorrow. <laughs> I, I told Travis to slip on the plane. I'm ready to go. What? He was up at 5.30 to drive to Nashville. Yeah. You're definitely sleeping well, first. I, I had work to do at Lost in Time. You are the jack of all trades. Hey, Keep it on If you're wondering why Haley's still awake, it's because she was sleeping in her nursery and Katie said she started throwing up in her sleep, basically. Yeah, she was um, laying down, just started throwing up in her sleep. I ran in there when I started like hearing her crying and it was like all over her, terrible. So I gave her a bath, got her all fixed up and I was like, okay, maybe she ate something, but she's thrown up like three times now in the past hour. So I think she might have a stomach bug. The most pitiful thing I've ever watched. She literally just did it two minutes ago and she's at the point where she has nothing left in her. So she's just dry heaving and she doesn't know how to throw up. So she's choking, so it's absolutely terrible. Hopefully tomorrow she'll be doing better. If not, we're gonna have to get her checked out, obviously. I don't know if it's a 24 hour bug. Gigi thinks it's a bug. She's never had any sickness like that. The only sickness I've ever dealt with is like ear infection or like um, fever from teething. This is so bad. Yeah, it's so odd bad. because Katie and I feel fine. Yeah. And Haley seems to be fine besides the throwing and up. And we so. ate the same thing today. Like she didn't have anything different, so. I don't think it's something she ate. I just, if it's not better by tomorrow, I'm just gonna take her in somewhere and see if there's anything we can do for her. And also, if you're wondering why my mom's here, it's because her and my dad were traveling back from PA to New Jersey and were driving past her house late at night. And so they stopped by. Um, and now she is loving Carly on Haley. <laughs> Haley's so tired, but she can't stay asleep she because- She just keeps going back and forth. Mom, she Gigi, keeps gagging. mom, Gigi. But, hey, that's Uncle Warden. Say, Say hi. Say I'll love on you tomorrow. Haley's feeling so much better today. Last night was pretty rough. I was up like all night. But this morning she woke up. The first part of the morning she was kind of off. She doesn't really want to eat a lot, but she's drinking fluid and keeping it down. So I'm keeping it down like a big girl. I called my sister Michaela and she like talked me through everything. Yeah. And basically told me what to watch for. Mm, I love your kisses. I love your kisses. But this afternoon she's back to normal, playing around with all of her toys, feeling so much better. And we haven't drawn up for like six hours, which is huge. So I think it must have been just like a 24 hour bug. But as long as she keeps feeling better, we're good, everything's good. Me and Warden ran to Home Depot this morning. We also got the car washed for the big trip. Um, and he has now been working and he works a lot faster than I would, I guess. So. He is standing here like, what else can I do? And we really don't have that much, so that's good. Uh, we get the truck tomorrow morning, which is great. We'll load up. Um, we're actually supposed to go to a family party tonight 
for one of my second cousin's birthday, um, which was gonna be great because we were gonna be able to be with the whole family before we left. But with Haley having this sickness, we decided it's best not to take her. Maybe I'll go. I kind of feel bad leaving Katie and the baby, but if Warden's here, we'll, be okay, we'll yeah. see what we're gonna do. Um, but she is feeling so much better. So She's back to normal, news. but just because it's been within the last 24 hours, even just for the other kids there. If it's something contagious, we don't want them to get sick. <laughs> and we need to rest you up. Mwah, lots of kisses. Y'all, it is 9 a.m. on Thursday. Just got in the U-Haul, and today is a big day. We're loading everything up. It is feeling really real. Um, I'm super pumped. I honestly hate the in-between stage of like half moved, half packed, half not. And so today, we're gonna have everything loaded up besides like a suitcase of things we really need for tomorrow and Saturday until we can get unpacked. But everything is ready to go. I do think it'll be a little bit tighter than I initially anticipated, um, but if we pack it good, we should be fine. So gonna try and get this done pretty quickly. Like I said, it is Thursday, so I'm hopefully gonna be turning around all this footage and posting it tonight. Last day in Jersey, gonna make it a great one. First time driving to U-Haul, which is pretty wild, but looks like a van, can't be too hard. Guys, it is cold this morning. We both threw on Freezing. whatever hoodies we could I find. I took his hoodie. <laughs> it's because everything else Great. is packed away. So nice. But we're trying to figure out a plan. Um, I think we will have enough room. Yeah, I think we will. Warden's pretty confident, but we're just trying to get a plan before we start moving so we can figure out where we should put things. We got this little attic up here. So we're gonna put all the big Put some boxes, boxes up there. Up there. Yeah. And then um, some stuff up there. the biggest thing would then be the nursery furniture. And then the mattress is the biggest thing. We're gonna slide that on top last though. Warden wanted to pack the mattress today and sleep on the floor. Well, I'm okay with that. But because the mattress is like the biggest thing, like it's a king size. So we wanted to like, I wanted to tuck it away behind everything. But we'll figure something out. We're gonna have to throw it on top at the very end, probably. At least, like, a 12 inch space. If I didn't have a wife and baby, maybe I'd sleep on the floor. Which, speaking of, Haley is still. Not feeling good, unfortunately. Last night she threw up again and her fever got up to like 104. So we were up half the night getting that down, on the phone with doctors, getting medicine. So we're praying she's gonna get better. Katie's inside taking care of her and Ward and I are gonna get going. Good news, we have plenty of space in the truck. Um, maybe a little too much. We're gonna have to lower some of the boxes, it looks like. We've got a good amount of room in the front and then obviously we can stack a lot of this vertically. Um, we don't have a ton of stuff left in the house. We packed up everything that was obviously taped up and ready to go and now we're in there kind of pausing, going through all the random stuff, throwing them in boxes, taping everything up and getting it ready to roll. The plan is to take a little lunch break here in a minute. My dad ran out to grab us Chipotle. Uh, my mom's here helping with the baby. We're gonna eat, take a break, finish loading up the truck, close that baby up. I can never come in and they're bringing Starbucks. Katie's in here <laughs> making business moves. Oh man, Starbucks, nice ice matcha. Getting ready for the day. I told him you stayed right. up like all night. Yes, Haley, poor girl, had a rough night. Um, but I cuddled with her all morning. Gigi just switched off and she's napping right now, so I'm hoping that she'll wake up 
and feel a lot better. It's just with babies, it's so sad because you can't really do much for them. You're just like I've never seen her be in a like, state where she wants to be just held this yeah, long. Like she's just like sleeping and cuddling, and of course I'm gonna be with her. But also it's like we're moving tomorrow, so <laughs> yeah, I've got to start getting some stuff done. Gigi came to the rescue and is cuddling with her, and she loves cuddles with Gigi. So we are all mama's ready. Let's go get this done. Okay, the truck looks smaller than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we have plenty of room. Do we have plenty of room? Oh my goodness. I think so. Oh man, look at all of this stuff. We're hoarders. Oh my goodness. And I thought we got rid of so much and everything. Oh my goodness. Which I think it's now just like a lot of odds and ends that like we're packing up that like you forget about. So it's like all of the little details that are just going in random boxes, which are always fun to unpack. But we're almost there. Mike and Dev are coming. Reinforcements. Lunch is almost here. It's gonna be great. You're hard working. Getting those muscles in. <laughs> Mike's moving. No, oh my goodness. <laughs> you got some serious bubble wrap, man. <laughs> Lunch. Mm. I think Remy, you ready? We mentioned this morning that Haley wasn't feeling the best, but we just finished lunch. Her fever is back. She's just kind of sleeping, not really wanting to get up and do much today. Um, when we first found out she was sick, we talked to the doctor and they're like, it's probably just a 12 hour bug, wait it out. But we're going on like 30 something hours right now and she's still not just like getting out of it. So I'm gonna run her to the pediatrician while they're all packing and see if there's anything we can do for her. With a 10 hour drive ahead of us, I just wanna make sure before we leave, like. Everything we can do for her is done. If she needs any special medicine or something to help her get over this, I just wanna go in for peace of mind and to hopefully help her feel better. So I'm just gonna run over there. I think Gigi's gonna come with me. Trav's gonna hold. <laughs> Trav's gonna hold the fort down here with Warden and the Packers. We have like, what, like 16 hours left here. So yeah. there's a lot to get done still. Hopefully we can get that figured out, get her some medicine. But like Katie said, we got some family here helping us move, so that is nice. Um, the plan is to finish packing up and then we were going to my family's house for dinner, hang out, say goodbye, but it looks like Katie will be staying here with the baby, of course. Mom and Haley are just gonna cuddle yeah. and rest and trying to get her to feel better. Sad because obviously this is our last night here, so I know everybody wants to see her and she'll wanna say bye to everybody, but it's okay, we have FaceTime. We're gonna do the best we can and just make sure that she's feeling 100% as best we can. Remy jumped out of our house and into the moving truck and here she is and she will not leave i have tried for like 10 minutes straight to get her to come out i think she's unsure of what's happening and maybe she thinks we're leaving i know she knows when we're leaving because she can tell when we pack up and grab suitcases so this is obviously an extreme case but hey you're coming with us tomorrow it's okay come on let's go inside come on look at her she is not having it Good girl, good girl, good girl. Come on, let's go inside. Oh my word. I'm not good at reading dog behavior, but I don't really know what she wants. Good girl. Come on, come on. Dude, what in the world? It's actually interesting. Okay. Okay, good girl, good girl. Everything is officially loaded up. It's our last day. Um, it's crazy. House is empty. It looks so different. Like everything looks so like empty and new. Like yeah. it doesn't look like a home anymore. We've shown a lot of the happy side of this move. Um, I don't know. It just gets hard sometimes to film when there's emotions involved. Um, but one morning, like. I'll get ready and just be crying. And so then next sad. morning I'm fine. Oh, like taking the name off the wall, I think when you're packing up and you realize like big things, like we're doing Haley's nursery and it's like, wow, like we had our first baby here. We got married, this is our first house. We have our dog here. Like even you like fixing up this house, like so much work went into this place hmm. to make it a home for us. And like we've had the best two years here. It's crazy. The best memories with Haley and with the baby it's just been it's just was, been so good i went down a rabbit trail of our old youtube videos last night and it's crazy like when we first got married and came back like we look like little kids i know you probably think we look I know young we still now do. but 
I say that to say, I feel like we've grown so much in the last two years, which is exciting and sad to look back on because I can only think of what will the next two years look like. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where I'm trying to put my mind at as far as going to Tennessee. There's a lot of new things coming our way. Some of them we haven't even shared yet, but I really think it'll be good for us. Um, long term, again, we don't know where we'll end up. We may be in, you know, Alaska. <laughs> Katie oh, would love no. <laughs> no, but like, we're saying bye. Could we end up back here in New Jersey? Yes. Are we thinking that going to Tennessee? We're not thinking either way. We're mm -hmm. just going, trying to follow where God wants us to be. We're not setting expectations. Yeah. And then whatever happens, we're just going to follow what God wants us to do. And we're excited. Like, we are so excited for this move yeah. and like the new things in the new chapter. We're excited to be around my family. We're excited for all of the music opportunities for Travis. It's just When I get in sad. the truck, <laughs> I think I'll be really excited mm -hmm. because it's like- It's go time. Turn the page, here we go. But tonight's probably gonna be the hardest night of them all. Gonna go be with my family, spend time with them and that's just really difficult. And we have chosen not to film that, but you know my family, we're super close. Um, so it's hard. It's really hard. And so everyone's going to have to work and get through it. We've already planned the trips. We've talked about it on here before. But that is the sad part. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm not too good at showing my feelings, especially on camera. So Travis bottles everything up. <laughs> That's just how he is. I'm but. internalizing it all. But we're basically just reflecting here and uh, thinking about all the good memories. So it's good. We're happy. Thank you guys for following along, watching these videos. Tomorrow starts a new chapter for us. I actually made a little clip of some of our favorite memories in New then Jersey. You will cry. <laughs> that I'm gonna put up after this. But for now, we're gonna get some rest. We still have our mattress. <laughs> we get a box set up early in the morning. Our mattress and just everything else. So it's like mattress empty. and the clothes on our bed. Everything's empty. It's so crazy. Like I feel like some what in my mind. I feel like we're just going on a little trip to Tennessee and then like like a visit. But then when I actually think of it, I'm like, no, we're moving, like we're gonna be there. And I think it's gonna be weird for us the first like two weeks, like actually living there. Oh, like what be, is going on? It's gonna on, be super like... weird, probably more for me than you. Oh, You're going home, familiar territory. Crazy. Anyway, we're rambling now. Yeah. We're talking out loud. But today was a little bit of a crazy day with Haley getting sick on top of moving packing, and packing. Craziness. But um, she went to the pediatrician. We did get medicine. She's so we are better. praying that she's gonna be better and very improved by tomorrow for the road trip. If you guys think about it, we'll be driving all day tomorrow. We'll probably get in like wee wee hours of the morning. Yeah, so. so say a prayer for us if you think about it. We appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next Thanks week. Thanks for watching. Peace out.